Hi everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back. Is this recording? Yes, it is. Okay, good. I don't know why this is popping up here. Okay. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're coming back, thank you. So today we're going to talk about managing school loans. It's going to be part of our money, um, one of our money videos. So we do wealth building strategies here on this channel. So we talk about careers, money, how to tips on saving money, making more money, investing more money, whatever it is, right? It's all wealth building. Everything's not money, but eventually you got to start off with some money, right? Maybe. Okay, so anyway, I'm going off the screen here and we're going to talk about managing school loans. Basically, this is how um, I started all my side gigs was doing all these, doing all these, uh, getting rid of these school loans. They're huge debt in your portfolio and you need to get rid of them as soon as possible. Alright, so the Biden administration was considering a plan to forgive up to $10,000 in student loans for borrowers who meet certain income thresholds, but you don't want to depend on any kind of any kind of administration to manage your money. You want to do it yourself. This is studentaid.gov. So, um, even if Biden moves with his plan, million of borrowers are still going to have student loans to repay. So you need to come up with a plan on how to get out of debt. Now, the way I did it personally, I had 130 in debt, and it took me about a good four years of working, doing gig work, side work, 12 to 16 hours a day. So you have to come up with a plan, but basically you're going to need to work or come up with some other plan. But basically it involves getting money and getting rid of this debt. Before you start accumulating more debt and going and buying houses and all this kind of stuff, you need to, to get rid of this debt because it's not going to go away unless you die. Um, and it's also going to keep you from moving forward. If you want a bigger house or whatever you want to do in life, it's going to be on your credit report that you have this debt that you got to repay. So you want to try and get rid of this debt. You don't want to sit and wait around for some administration to come up with some kind of plan that's probably bogus. And you'll be sitting around for the next 10 to 20 years waiting for them to come up with some kind of plan. You need to come up with a plan yourself and take in steps to reform your own debt relief program in place. Um, not waiting on the Biden administration, the Trump administration, or whatever other administration that's coming in. The Department of Ed is another one. You don't want to wait for them to come up with some kind of program. Um, I've been on all these programs myself and they just sit there. Okay, They really do. Unless you're, unless you're putting two or three times more money down on your loans, you can't get rid of them. Now, under the PSLF, which is the Public Service Loan Forgiveness Program, which started in 2007, it's based upon an income-driven rep repayment plan. And I was on this myself. And um, it helps borrowers who are employed as teachers, nurses, basically service-oriented people, firefighters, nonprofit workers, public service workers, that they have the have can have a balance of their loan forgiven after they make 125 or 120 monthly payments. And this is good, a good 10 years. So do you want to stay in debt for 10 years? No, you want to try and get out, you know, a good under, it took me about four years. So if you can do it under four years, that's even better. So you want to come up with plans Maybe a business, side business, your side hustles, whatever you got to do. But you need to come up with some kind of plan. And if you have a partner, then you might even be able to do it double time. Um, borrowers who went into this public service, I've met one person who actually did do this. They were in the military and they actually finished this program. And um, military service uh, members can get help too. The DOE, which is Department of Energy, allows service members to count months spent on active duty towards their loan forgiveness. So that maybe that's why he got out a little early. I don't know. But if you're in the military, they usually give you money towards your your education anyway. So you don't need to um, 
be even taking out student loans. So to resolve the issues, the Department of Energy, DOE, announced last October it was going to offer a limited waiver that allows eligible borrowers to have payments that were previously excluded count towards their loan forgiveness. And this waiver ended October 31st of 2021. Now, Again, you can keep putting in these applications, filling all these, all the money, all the time and energy you spend in the filling out all these applications, you could be working and getting rid of this debt. The key here is to put two to three times more down, if it's possible, and it is possible. You can do it, you just have to get disciplined and you have to want it more than you want anything else. Um, I do understand that. If you're a mom and you have a child, and especially if you're a single mom, you don't have two income sources coming in, uh, you have a child to take care of, there are certain circumstances where it's pretty tough. But the, the goal here is not to get more into debt, to get rid of the debt, okay? So if you can find a way to work at home and make extra money, you can try doing your own YouTube channel, you can try different careers where you can work at home and make extra money. These are the things you want to try and do. You want to try and find ways to where you can make money, still take care of your children, and get rid of the debt. And the goal is not to get more into debt. Um, if you Honestly, if you just trust in the Lord, I know we're going religious here a little bit, but if you do, you will be able to you will be able to make it work. Persistence with God's assistance and you it will work. Don't keep taking out loans because thinking you need some kind of degree. Now, it will help in the future if you can try and get your career. We talk about this a lot on this channel. Get your career updated. Um, change with the times and all of that is, is awesome because you do need to stay educated. Totally believe in education, but try not to get over your head. If you can do a little bit at a time, most colleges now will offer you ways to pay uh, monthly payments to where you do not have to keep out, taking out student loans. So there are things out here that this government of ours is doing to try and help everybody. But basically it comes to you and yourself and not relying on other people to get you out of debt. And I do understand that we all want a degree, but a degree isn't everything, okay? It helps, but it ain't everything. And we don't want to spend our life relying on our government to get us out of every situation. you got to learn to get some self-discipline and, and work, you know? Sitting around waiting on um, everybody else to give you money. And I do know it happened like 2020. We all got handed free money, but this is, this is not the way it, it is in life. You have to get go and do some work. Do some work of some sort, get some money, and get rid of these student loans. And do not keep taking them out. I know it's tempting because it's tempting for me too because I'm always looking to advance my career. But you really cannot do it. So you need to plan for payments to resume. And most colleges will let you, will have some kind of payment plan now. And um, you need to try and do that. But if you're still uh, persistent on trying to get this public service loan forgiveness program, which barely few people get approved for, by the way. Currently, the federal loans are on pause and there aren't accruing any interest. So um, now would be the time to try and get rid of these things if possible. Uh, you'll lower your principal loan balance without any interest right now if you keep paying on it. So now would be the time. And this, this pretty much stopped with the interest at March 2020, you know, when COVID started. And, it, and it's still going on right now as of July of 2022. So almost two years now. So if you're trying to get out of debt, trying to get rid of this student loan debt, it would be a good time to do it right now because you don't have the interest. So that'll help you get out even quicker. So if you have loans that are in default and the moratorium has halted the collection calls and bills and stopped the tax refund and wage garnish garnishment, uh, the interest accrual is paused as well. Um, all these things will help you get back out of the student loan debt. Now, I never had this loan interest um, deferral when I was doing mine, but hey, if you can get rid of it, that's awesome. If you can pay these off without that. Um, that would be awesome. And try and keep yourself motivated. You can tune into this channel. I try and keep everybody motivated as much as possible and not to get back into debt. 
So Michael Kitchen of Student Loan Hero, you can look that up, helps borrowers manage their student loan. Um, depending on the interest rate of your student loan, you may be able to lower your rate by refinancing to a private loan. And that might also help you to get rid of it quicker. I don't know. You have to look into that. Otherwise, you're going to lose out on the interest charges on the federal loans that are on pause. So you need to do a side-by-side -side comparison. You need to get with a financial planner if you don't know how to do that and figure out if that even makes sense. Because if the interest rate is deferred right now, you don't want to go take out an interest loan. That wouldn't make any sense. So if you do decide to refinance, if they bring the interest back where you got to keep paying it, then you might want to consider refinancing to something. Um, I don't know when they're going to be bringing the interest rate back, but right now it's still on halt. So I, my suggestion is that you try to do a, um, try and do a, uh, try and get out as soon as possible. All right. And that's my little tip for the day. Um, uh, my little money tip for the day on the student loan debt. Dealing with debt. We don't want it, right? We're trying to create wealth. We need to get out of debt. I appreciate everybody. I'll see you on the next video.